Good evening, SCCW fans, and welcome to another edition of Wednesday Night Voltage. My name is Alistair Mayfield, your host and commentator as always. Tonight, we got another, as you know, rather usual lineup, although main event's a bit of an interesting one, uh, for sure, especially given the level between the two competitors. But this is Sin City, after all, and considering knowing who the owner is, I mean, never hurts to gamble here and there to see how things might play out. So, without further ado, as uh, I really don't have any announcements on hand for the time being, let's go ahead and jump right on into the first match. Contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing at 285 pounds, Jeff Gilliam. Jeffy G, who made his return from his shoulder injury last week, came up short against the likes of Vincent Draven. And I know he definitely wants to try to add more wins to his column, especially considering he was victorious in his debut. And his opponent from Eugene, Oregon, weighing at 212 pounds, Travis. Monroe! And Monroe kind of been, it's so hard to tell if he's either been up and down or kind of been gradually declining, but last week he suffered a surprising loss and being the one to suffer a loss to Sister Valerie. So you know, he's definitely looking to bounce back here tonight. He's going to be having to deal with Gilliam here who lays into him with that knee lift. to locked up and there's a shot right to the ribs. Monroe back up on his feet, avoids the elbow. Gilliam sends him into the corner, misses with that left, couple of whiff punches. Lock up. Monroe with the right hand. Gilliam, ooh, big elbow right to the chest there. Monroe scoops him up and throw, slams him down. Lock up again here, big right hand there from Monroe. Oh, went for that spinning heel kick and missed. Gilliam looking to capitalize, he drops a fist right to the nose. Monroe, however, slams him down. Lock up again here, Monroe with the left. Test of strength, Monroe pushing back, catches Gilliam with that drop toe hold. Hoping to avoid that tomahawk chop, but Monroe pulls him over the snap there. Drags him away from the ropes. Whoop, Gilliam able to kick him away. Lock up, Monroe, Irish whip, but Gilliam catches himself. Monroe sends him into the corner, measuring, ooh, got him with the back elbow, falls in with the left hand. Throws Gilliam back into the corner, measuring, running another back elbow into the face. Went for the spinning heel kick, but Gilliam was already falling. So he catches Monroe with that back kick. Ooh, Tomahawk chopped there from Monroe. Sends Gilliam into the ropes. Oh! That standing Spanish fly of his goes at the rewrite, manages to get him a count of two. Now here they go, Gilliam, Monroe, Gilliam, Monroe, Gilliam, Monroe winning the exchange. He's back up, oh. Gilliam back up, this well got caught with the Enzigiri. And now Monroe, with the complete shot there. Gilliam with that elbow right to the chest. Oh, but Monroe has him, oh! Landed with that Death Valley driver. Lock up, oh, Gilliam, however, drops him with an elbow. Has Monroe back up, missed with that forearm there. Pulling, drops him with an elbow, oh, Gilliam! Got the sleep aid locked in! Monroe able to quickly slip out of it before Gilliam could really lock it in. Ooh, Gilliam again with another fierce elbow. So was Monroe into the corner, lock up. Oh, Monroe, not Monroe, but Gilliam off the road, oh, the crash course! Did just about damn near launch Monroe, clear out the ring. Lifts him up, slams Monroe down. Gilliam to the top, oh, connects with the elbow. Pulls Monroe away from the corner, stomp to the leg. Monroe back up on his feet. Ooh, elbow to the back of the head, and Monroe now elevated crab. Gilliam quickly breaking out of it. Avoids the chop. Ooh, Monroe catching him with the knee lift there. That's Gilliam up. 
And Monroe now plants him at that death belly driver. Gilliam up. Oh, into that complete shot. Oh, but Gilliam, that back kick right between the legs. Monroe's down. Gilliam had second thoughts about flying there. Monroe hoists him up. And there's the death valley driver again. Monroe, once again, another DVD. There's the dragon screw. Has Gilliam back up. Gilliam, however, floors him with that headbutt. He goes up top. Diving splash cover. One, two. Monroe able to get the shoulder up. Gilliam with a double leg slam. Stomp to the back of the leg. Gilliam now off the ropes. Monroe up to his feet. Well, oh, went for the Death Valley driver again. Gilliam slipping off, comes off the ropes. Ooh, what a clothesline. Misses with that elbow. And Monroe, final addition! Hooks the leg, one, two! Gilliam able to get the shoulder up. Drops him with a DDT. Gilliam flexing with the crowd there a bit. He goes up top. Diving splash connects, but Monroe's got his foot up on the rope. Oh! Oh! Twisting side slam there by Gilliam. He has Monroe up. Oh! Gilliam! Next! Deep! Hooks the leg! One! Two! No! Monroe gets the shoulder up! Irish whip sends him into the corner. And Monroe! Plants up with a tornado DDT! He goes up top! Stunning elbow! That's Gilliam up. Goes behind. Caught with the elbow. Gilliam now off the ropes. Knocks him down with the clothesline. Has him up. Gilliam, another clothesline. Walk up. And Gilliam now unloading with the punches here. Down goes Monroe. Jeffy G to the top. Waiting. Diving cross body cover. One, two, three. He got him. Here is your way by pinfall. Jeff Gilliam! And Jeffy G able to bounce back here with a victory over Travis Monroe. And honestly, despite looking like he was being somewhat dominated there in the beginning of the match, makes a rather impressive comeback there and gets a victory over the author. Congrats to Gilliam on that. I'm looking for Monroe. I think he gave the rookie there a bit too much room to work with to get back into a winning position. I say rookie, but pretty sure he has a few accolades to him as well. Probably just calling him that just because of his age. But regardless, we got our next matchup between perhaps two of the more mysterious figures here in the company. That's not including Kingsley. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Grozny, Chechnya, Russia, weighing at 104 pounds, sister Valerie. Despite having a very rocky start, Valerie was finally able to pick up her first victory last week, submitting the likes of Travis Monroe. Like many others, she's definitely going to continue the pace here tonight. And her opponent from the Discordia Court, weighing at 202 pounds. Glimmer Green! Glimmer Green coming off a loss to William Beasley last week. And that one was certainly a back and forth uh, endeavor there. And honestly, a bit of a battle between power bombs, but unfortunately, Glimmer Green found himself on the receiving end of Beasley's patent to sit out power bomb, which is enough to do him in as the battle in this contest is underway here. As Valerie knocks Glimmer Green down with that elbow. Lock up here, Valerie dumping. Going to the outside. He rolls back in. Able to duck the left there. Shot right to the ribs, knocks Valerie down. Lock up again. Valerie with the dragon screw. Lock up, and Valerie this time with the knee lifts there. She drags the glimmer away from the ropes, back up on his feet. Valerie again spinning him down with another dragon screw. Lock up, knocks him back down with the elbow. 
Very small yet precise strikes and as well as targeted moves as well. Squidward is trying to get back into this with that elbow. There's a chop. Avoids the kick there. Valerie drops him with that elbow. Has an oh, ooh. Retaliates a kind with an elbow of his own there. And now with the right hand. Squidward pulls her over the snap there. She's back up to her feet. Kick right to the midsection there. Lock up. Irish whip by Valerie since Glimmer into the corner. He quickly steps away. Valerie again twisting him down with that dragon screw. He's able to duck the right hand there. Ooh, knocks her down with the European uppercut. Pulls her away. Sets an up chop right to the chest. Knocks her down with a shot right to the ribs. Has her back up. Walk up here. Glimmer with another shot to the ribs. Sets her a big chop to the chest. Walk up. Elbow right to the back. Has her up. Replace. Ooh, got caught with a jawbreaker. Knee drop right to the midsection. Whoa, able to take out the leg there with that stiff kick. Valerie pulls him back up. Oh, tried to offer a bit of sportsmanship. Glimmer Grin sends another the ropes. He comes off as well, and the two collide. Lock up. Irish whip. Glimmer Grin coming off. Ooh, flying head scissors there. Pulls Valerie away from the corner. She's back up now. Lock up. Valerie hip lifts him up. Suplexes him right to the outside. Glimmer Grin quickly back in. Avoids the left hand there. Ooh, pulls her over with that snap there. Pulls her away. Sets her up. Oh, Jesus. Brutal, brutal elbow there from Glimmer Grin. Oh, and now here they go. Glimmer. Valerie, Glimmer, Valerie, Glimmer. Valerie winning the exchange. Back up on her feet, drives Glimmer Grin away from the ropes. Ooh, fist drop right to the sternum. Walk up. Glimmer Grin hoists her up. Pat no! Into a triangle choke! Valerie able to counter it! Glimmer Grin able to slip free. It's caught with that kick to the midsection. Oh, but Valerie unloading with the knee lifts right to the midsection. Pulls him away. Valerie now coming off the ropes. Ooh, stiff kick right to the ribs. Just trying to soften him up here. Again with the knee lifts. And now, Valerie, I believe that's the pestilence locked in. But I think she might be using the ropes for leverage there just a bit. Now Glimmer Grin trying to... No! Tried to get back into it there, but Valerie still targeting the legs. She has him back up, Valerie now, coming off the ropes, whoa, flying cross knee by center of the ring! Really targeting the leg here, Glimmer Grin, able to slip free. Oh, there's a spinning neck breaker there by Valerie, cover here, one, two, and Glimmer Grin able to get the shoulder up. Lock up, whoa, and Glimmer Grin this time dumping Valerie to the outside. Looks like we're going to be seeing combat here. Ooh, chop right to the chest. And again! Lock up. Glimmer Grin with the right. Oh, but Valerie, oh my god! A side slam onto the floor! And that isn't exactly the softest thing out there. Kick right to the midsection. Lock up. Oh, neck break onto the floor! Valerie rolls back in. Glimmer Grin back up on his feet. Able to beat the count. Glimmer Grin takes Valerie over with that snapmare. He goes up top. Oh, went for that reverse senton. No one was home, Valerie, with the elbow. Up top yet again. Scores with the elbow once more. Pulls Glimmer Grin away. Has him up, up for a circle behind. Ooh, spinning neck breaker. She goes back up top. Again, scoring with that elbow. And again, to the top. Another elbow. He's just punishing Glimmer Grin's ribs. Glimmer Grin hoists her up. How? No! Into the triangle choke here. Glimmer Grin able to get his foot up on the rope to force the break. Lock up. A couple of side kicks there. Glimmer Grin off the rope. Snap elbow to the back of the head. Right off the sportsmanship. Valerie with the kick right to the leg. And Valerie now off the ropes. Fly across the yet again. Still trying to target the leg here, trying to hyperextend the knee. Glimmer Grin again able to slip free. Valerie again picks the leg and there's the dragon screw. 
Valerie to the top. Diving elbow yet again. She has Glimmergren up. Glimmergren takes her down with that snapmare. Pulls her away from the ropes. Has her up. Glimmergren now off the ropes. Oh, Jesus. Running overhead chop. He comes off the ropes and there's that elbow. Pulls her away. Ooh, chop right down to the throat. Kick to the midsection. Valerie able to keep her ground. Let's toss into the corner. Glimmergren scoops her up. Tria Woe. Loading with the kicks to the midsection here. To lock up. Irish whip. Glimmergren coming off as well. The two collide down goes Glimmergren. Lock up. Oh, face first. And Valerie on the tenderizer. Locked in. And Glimmergren taps. There is your winner by submission, Sister Valerie! The Russian able to get back-to-back -back wins here. That was definitely what she needed to keep boosting her confidence, especially after such a rocky start. Just countless losses. Dawson pick up a win over the likes of Glimmergren is definitely something to be proud of as well, knowing how crafty that little devil is in the ring. Congrats to Valerie, and unlucky for Glimmergrin, as it, honestly, he looked like he was kind of getting taken to town there by a rather determined and dominant Sister Valerie. Alright, without further ado, folks, let's go on ahead, jump right on into the next one. Following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first. From parts unknown, weighing in at 201 pounds, Vincent Draven. Prince of Darkness coming off a victory last week over the returning Jeff Gilliam. It's definitely a good show in between both of them, but Draven, higher up in the card here, definitely going to be facing some much tougher talent. And his opponent from Columbus, Ohio, weighing at 190 pounds, Jason Justice. A warden who's definitely been on a dominant streak as of late, especially with a victory over Bodie at last week's main event on Voltage. Question being, will he be able to keep the winning ways going here as he takes on the Prince of Darkness? We know from his experience, there's nothing no joke either. There's the bell, and this contest is underway. Justice already with an elbow to take down Draven. Lock up here, test of strength. Warden already pushing back, drop toe hold. Draven back up on his feet, lock up, Irish whip. Justice catches himself. Lock up, Draven sending him to the corner. Ooh, caught him with that one-two combination. Lock up here, just, oh my god! German super trying to the padding there. That'll ring your bell, oh jeez! That roundhouse kick of his. Not exactly what he calls that, the Miseria Katade. It's always some, it's always that, it's always the Latin names I don't really remember. It's Draven able to launch Justice up and away. It's definitely one thing Draven's gonna have to be careful for is Justice's ground game. You know how strong that is. Justice up on his feet, rolls back inside very quickly. Oh, Justice goes up, sunset flip, one. Managing a one count. Uka caught with that one-two combination. Justice sends Draven into the corner. Oh, Draven able to step away, misses with the chop, however. Knocks Justice down with a series of elbows. Draven off the ropes, Warden's back up to his feet. Justice knocking Draven down with that elbow. He pulls him away from the ropes. Oh, going to that guard position. Oh, but Justice now unloading with the elbows here. Draven able to knock him aside. It's Justice into the corner. Lock up. Draven now. Series of stiff elbows there. Turns Justice over cover. Oh, manages a count of one. Sets Justice into the ropes. Waiting. Ooh, caught him with that back elbow. Draven now off the ropes. Ooh, very stiff kick to the ribs there. That elbow caught him with a one-two. Justice, however, scoops him up, slams him down into the guard position. And Justice again hammering away with the elbows here. Draven able to push him aside. Jumps on him with a cover here. Manages a count.
count of two. Well, Justice hits him down. Has him around the waist. Ooh, modified gut wrench. Well, oh, back mount. No, oh, Draven able to lift him up and throw him back. Draven now off the ropes. Ooh, what an elbow. Oh, Jesus. Big forearm shot there from Draven. Takes down Justice. One, two combination to the head. Justice reverses. Draven catches himself. Lock up. Draven hoists him up. Oh, there's that spinning brain buster. To lock up. Well, Justice with that half hatch suplex. That's Draven up. Draven, however, hoists him up, takes him over with that suplex. Draven now to the top. That's second thoughts about it, however, it's Justice was stirring. Justice now takes the run up over one for the form. Draven avoids it. He goes back up top. Connects with the elbow right to the back. Draven not done here. No, one for the elbow again. Justice avoids it. Fujiwara armbar applied here. Draven able to slip out of it. Lock up. Justice with the elbow. He goes up top. Frog splash right across the back. As Draven up, went for the drop kick. Draven avoids it. Sends Justice into the corner. Draven measuring. Run up. There's the elbow. Lock up. Knee lift right to the midsection. Draven to the top. Drops the elbow right to the back. Draven getting a breather in while he can. Oh, but Justice with that gut wrench suplex. Draven up. Oh, double leg takedown. And Justice now, heel hook applied here. Really twisting it about. As much as he can, Draven able to kick his way free. Lock up, Justice. Throws Draven into the corner. Lock up. Well, but Draven with the suplex and out goes Justice. Carnegie with the count here. Draven stepping outside, but Justice wants to keep it in the ring. Well, and now here they go. Draven, Justice, Draven, Justice. Draven, discus elbow! Has Justice back up on his feet, but Justice drops him with the elbow. And Justice now, straight jacket, camel clutch. Really pulling up on the jaw there. On the neck, I should say, really. Justice with the left hand. Oh, got caught with the elbow. Down goes Justice. Draven cross legged STF here. Justice going to submit. He's pulling, pulling. Justice, however, able to break free. Justice off the ropes, running Swanton across the back. Goes Draven up, lock up. Ooh, Draven with the left. Oh, just a little dark age. Somebody get up. Pull him away. Draven, ashes to ashes, ashes to ashes. That key lock of his locked in. Pulling. No, Justice able to break free. Whoa, what the, Draven, Draven's got Justice third locked in. What is this? The banana split submission maneuver. Pulling and torquing, but Justice able to break free. But Draven again, little Dark Age. Pulling Justice away, turns him, spins. Ashes to ashes, but Justice able to get his foot up on the rope. Lock up. Oh, jeez, Draven with the axe kick into the knee. Pulls Justice away. Has an up one two combination, down goes Justice. And Draven ashes to ashes again, and Justice taps! Here is your winner by submission, Vincent Draven! The Prince of Darkness with a big and surprising victory here on Voltage over the Warden. Holy cow! You know, if he definitely wanted to put some of the talent that are vying for a spot in the world title picture, he definitely just put him on notice with that victory right there. I mean, Chester, who has definitely been on quite the run as of late, and for it to come at a, to a screeching halt courtesy of Vincent Draven is certainly something. 
So congrats to Draven on that victory. Whoa. That one definitely caught me off guard. All right, now we got our main event, folks. So without further ado, let's go ahead, jump right on into it. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Fairfield, New Mexico, weighing at 310 pounds, Cliff Clinton. And Clinton, who's coming off the back end of a bit of a bizarre victory last week, having defeated Ann Dempsey, but by all things, by ways of of a count out, which has not occurred since Bobby Barrett defeated Jason Justice. And his opponent from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing at 220 pounds, is the SCCW World Heavyweight Champion, Soul Hunter! And we haven't seen Soul since about two weeks ago when he suffered a rather surprising and a, for him a bit of an embarrassing loss for how dominant it was to the likes of Jason Justice. But now he's dealing with the likes of Cliff Clinton who normally perhaps you wouldn't see Clinton in a match such as this, but given he did vie for the International Championship, Certainly one thing, but as we're also well aware, and especially given his performance at the high roller, and I'm pretty sure Kings is of the same mind, perhaps there's an untapped side of him that, who knows, just needs the right kind of environment to really be set free. And honestly, he could be a very, very dangerous talent if he's able to, you know, untap that potential. Lock up here and Clinton already with a big body slam dropping the elbow. Champ gets the shoulder up. Able to avoid the bicycle kick. So Clinton locking up. Oh, ooh. A heavy kick there from Clinton knocks the champ down. Soul with the Irish whip. Waiting. Oh! For a leaping head scissors for Clinton instead just absolutely floored him. Lock again, Irish whip. Ooh, Clinton with that kitchen sink, and there's a knee drop right to the back. Lock up Clinton again, another big body slam. Stomp right to the ribs, Soul on his feet. Pulling on the arm. Avoids the kick that time. Whoop. Provides drop toe hold there. Soul with the elbow to the back of the head. Clinton, however, trips him up. Stomp to the ribs. Soul misses the roundhouse, but caught with a punch to the back of the head. Tripping Clinton to the ropes there. Soul again with the elbow to the back of the head, dropping an elbow to the leg. Lock up, oh, but Clinton launches him out of the ring with that belly to belly. Well, Clinton, however, pulled out that chair, gets tossed into the apron by the champ. Rocks him with a headbutt, Clinton with another chair out. I don't know what the hell he was doing there with that bit of fancy forward, and he just caught the champ with that chair. Leveled him. Carney with the count. Missed the swing of the chair there. Soul stood up, drop kick to the back of the head. Lock up, Clinton again with the headbutt. He's the champ up. Big left hand, Soul dropped him with the elbow. Has Clinton up, lock up. Oh no! Drop with the power bomb. Two! Soul able to kick out. Jesus, the impact of that. That low kick, Clinton again over at Belly to Belly launches the champ out. Carnegie with the count here, Soul. Pulls back inside, lock up. Ooh, that overhand shot right to the back. Pulls Soul up. Ooh, big axe handle right to the back. Has him up. Soul with a drop toe hold. Lock up, Irish whip sends Clinton to the corner. Lock up. Drops him with the elbow. Soul now. Cobra clutch applied. Trying to wear the big man down, but Clinton able to muscle his way free. Lock up. Clinton. Oh my god, has him up. Cliff dive! Just absolutely planted the champ. Hooks the leg here. One, two. So barely getting the shoulder up. He was at least a good eight feet in the air. And again with the side slam, one, two. Soul again able to get the shoulder up in time, but 
Jesus. Those power moves of Clinton really doing a number right now. Going back and forth here. Clinton, discus chop, takes out the champ. Lock up, and Clinton unloading with the punches. Down goes Soul. Lock up. Bridging follow away, slam, one, two, three, he got him! Here is your winner by pinfall, Cliff Clinton! Well, I spoke of gambles earlier, and Kingsley took one by pitting Clinton against Soul here. It was definitely that animalistic look to him in that one. Really didn't give the champ a moment to breathe there. Uh, you gotta kind of feel bad for Soul. Is like I don't really know what to say in regards to him. I mean, maybe an experience and pressures catching up to him, especially considering how much of a target he has painted on his back. I mean, he really didn't show much fight in like previous two matches, including this one. It's not exactly something you'd expect of a champion. I mean, as compared to his tag partner, who's been very you know, tenacious and such, but this, I wouldn't expect this from our, from a world champion. Damn it. Ronnie, try not to trip over the freaking like, wires. I noticed my mic cut out there for half a second, but regardless, congratulations to Clint on picking up a rather big victory, uh, in his, uh, resume there, and so, that's not like him. He really needs to wake up if he really wants to actually keep that championship going into his next defense in the coming weeks. Alright, with that, folks, that's going to wrap up this week's edition of Wednesday Night Voltage. Again, I don't really have much in way of announcements, so all that really leaves is just the usual closing remarks of as the usual goes. Thank you to all those who came out tonight. Thank you to those who tuned in to our YouTube channel to watch this broadcast. Your support will always mean a lot to us. Once again, my name is Alistair Mayfield. Thank you all so much for tuning in, and I will see you all tomorrow night for another installment of Thursday Night Ignition. Take care, and good night.